Loops can conform to tempo changes because they have triggers built into them. And then when the tempo changes, the triggers get closer together or further apart. Well, the audio that we record into Pro Tools doesn't have those triggers unless we build them in, and Beat Detective allows us to do that. Now, I have to admit, right off the bat here, I'm not a huge fan of this feature in Pro Tools. Don't use it very much. In fact, I have friends that call it Beat Defective, but I'm not going to go that far. Let's just take a look at it, and then you can decide if you like it. So we get to this by going to the Event menu, and about halfway, a little more than halfway down, is Beat Detective. So the hotkey for this is Command-8, or Control-8 on your PC, and it's the numeric keypad 8. So we'll pull this up. Let's center him. And in audio, the Beat Detective can do five things. These five things here. In MIDI, it can only do the top two. So we're working with audio, so we'll leave it at audio like that. Now we know, because we watched the earlier chapter, that this tempo doesn't appear right because this loop, let me play it for you. Okay, so we counted eight beats, two full bars of 4-4, four, four, and so the downbeat of three, which is actually over here somewhere, should be over there at the end of this loop. But it's not. So we know that we can go here and make the ruler behave and be correct by adjusting the tempo manually and pushing this over to here, getting close, getting close, almost there, 99 is too far. Maybe 100 right on the dot was about right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So this beat lines up, this beat lines up, this beat lines up. Okay, so we've done our detective work. Let's click this back to 120 and see if Pro Tools can do its detective work. So detectives work by looking for clues, and Beat Detective does its detecting by looking at transients. And so there are some peaks here in our file. And a transient is something with a lot of attack and not a whole lot of sustain, and that's kind of an ideal candidate. So this drum part is pretty good. Things that are percussive in nature. Something that would be harder to detect would be like a string section, something that sustains the note. So you can't blame the detective if there's no clues to work with. And Beat Detective, I think, does its best work when the tempo is steady. It doesn't do well when the tempo's all over the place. Okay, so we think this thing's at 100. Let's see if Pro Tools can behave. So we're going to first capture the selection. And then I will use normal detection and enhanced resolution and analyze this guy. And you can see that my sensitivity will determine where the markers line up here. I'm on beats, not subbeats or bars. And if I do zero sensitivity, no markers show up. And as I work my way to the right here, the markers are starting to appear in pretty much the right places. Okay, well, it's getting some of them right and some of them not so right. So I'm going to go to where I get most of them right and then adjust from there. So I should be able to pick this guy up because he doesn't look like he's on a beat at all and move him to there. That guy is about right. That guy's about right. This guy doesn't appear to be on a beat. I'm going to move him to there. And this one doesn't look like it belongs at all, so I'm going to option click this. And let me move my hand up here so that you can see what happens here. If I option click this, see the little minus key that's coming on and off? Okay, so minus him, and he goes away. And I think I've found, let's take a look. Okay, so that was me snapping along with it just to kind of keep Pro Tools honest. Okay, and so down here at the bottom is use bar beat generation to translate trigger points to the tempo ruler. So. Up at the tempo ruler, we have no tempo at all yet. 
So this is the sort of moment of truth in Beat Detective, where if you've set your triggers right, it should be able to tell you the tempo of this piece. So let's click and see what happens. Generate. And it's found sort of an average tempo of about 100 where it gets a little bit faster in some places and a little bit slower in others. But it's basically carved out the tempo here of this piece. So nice work, Beat Detective.